what is going on, it's Till here and in this video I'm going to talk about how to use social media as an expert for your business in a way where it doesn't destroy your soul or make you addicted or just spirals out of control. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you're an expert looking to grow your expert business to $10,000 per month, or if you are already at that level and would like to scale your business to high six figures, then head over to launchwithtill.com and I would like to invite you to a free one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me personally where we take a deep dive. Now, that being said, in the last two weeks or so, I've had two people who are connected with me on social media do a social media detox. And this seems to be a common thing these days, especially among experts. A lot of people who run expert businesses and are on social media for their business seem to have this problem where they can't control their social media usage and then it spirals out of control and they counteract by doing a social media detox where they essentially you know, cut off social media 100% for a month and just completely block out Facebook and YouTube and other platforms. In the past, I've also had my share, you know, fair share of problems with uh, social media and not having any boundaries. So I've done these social media detoxes in the past. I even have a video about this that I shot, uh, I think maybe a year ago or so. But the bottom line is it never really gets to the root cause of the problem. Just cutting off something, just doing a detox like that will not solve the underlying problem that is there. At least that's what I found in my own business. Also, if you're an expert, it's important that you're on social media. You need to actually be present on social media, especially on Facebook and on YouTube, which are my two favorite platforms, right? To publish content and create intimacy with the marketplace. You need to be on social media. If you're not on social media, you're gonna be missing out big time. To give you an example, I make around twenty to $30,000 from my Facebook profile alone every single month. So if I would do a social media detox and be black and white about social media, I would lose a lot of money and it would really harm my business. So if you're an expert or you run any type of coaching business or consulting business, where you're selling your knowledge, your expertise, your skills, then you need to be on social media. I'm sure you know this by now. And you'll be leaving a lot of money on the table and it's going to hurt your business if you don't learn to use social media in a responsible way where you can set clear boundaries and really manage yourself effectively. So the solution isn't to go on a social media detox because again that doesn't get to the root cause of the problem. The solution is to step it up and to learn to set clear boundaries in terms of your social media usage, especially Facebook, and also learn to manage yourself effectively in a way where you can use social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, in a productive way where it's not harming you and it's not having any negative effects on you. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to share three tips with you that help me use social media for my expert business in a responsible way where it's 95% productive. So I'm not claiming that I'm somehow 100% um, productive on social media. I still have moments where I end up scrolling and just get lost, you know, and just mindlessly check out posts, but it's very rare these days. I would say 95% of the time that I spend on social media is highly productive. I'm creating content, I'm interacting with the market, I'm creating intimacy, I'm speaking to potential clients, and all of this is 
generating a lot of money for my expert business. So it's a positive thing for me and I've learned to use social media and deal with it in a productive and positive way. Now, that being said, tip number one is you need to figure out a very specific schedule that you use to post content on social media because social media platforms are great for content marketing, right? Your Facebook profile is almost like a personal blog, right? You can publish posts on there, you can do Facebook Lives, and it's essentially a publishing platform. YouTube is also a publishing platform. It's great, right? We creators can be on YouTube and publish videos, but at the same time, there's all these distractions and all this stuff going on. So the first tip I wanna give you is you need to figure out when are you gonna publish content on which social media platform, and then you wanna come up with a very strict and specific schedule. For example, for me, I post Monday through Saturday on Facebook every single day, except on Sunday. I make one post a day on Facebook and have this very clear content schedule. And whenever I need to go and create a piece of content, I also schedule this in my calendar. So that's tip number two. Tip number one, get crystal clear on your publishing schedule. That alone is gonna be a game changer because if you're just on social media and you don't really know what you're doing and what your schedule is, you will get sucked in by the platform, by all the posts, and that's where things spiral out of control. But if you have a preset schedule and you know exactly what you're gonna publish, when you're gonna publish, then you can be very effective. You can come you know, and conquer um, essentially on social media. You show up, you publish your piece of content, and then you're out of there again. And to do this effectively, you need to have that content schedule crystal clear. So decide, are you gonna publish daily? What time are you gonna publish? Are you gonna publish Tuesdays and Thursdays? Are you gonna publish only once a week on Friday? Whatever it is, write it down, get crystal clear about it, so you in your mind and in your business are prepared and know exactly how to use social media for publishing. Then number two, once you're clear about your exact content schedule, one of my mentors calls this the content diet, right? It's like a diet. If you wanna get in shape, right, you need to have a specific diet where you eat a certain amount of calories or macros and you work out using a certain routine, maybe you work out three, three days a week and you have these specific workouts scheduled. And in the same way, if you wanna run a business, you need to have this content diet, this preset schedule, right? So that being said, tip number two, I will get to tip number two. I know I've been rambling and ranting about the first tip for a bit, but I think you're getting it now. Tip number two is you need to actually schedule these as time blocks in your calendar. So what I personally do is whenever I spend time on social media, I have this scheduled in my calendar and I use 25 minute time blocks for this. So in my calendar, if I would show you my phone right now, I don't have it handy right now, otherwise I would show it to you. But you can see there's different um, time blocks in my calendar, such as write organic post. And then I have 25 minutes or maybe two blocks of 25 minutes scheduled to publish a piece of content on Facebook. So that way there's containment, right? I'm not just on social media mindlessly checking stuff out, but I'm on there with a mission. I have a very specific time frame for it. It's scheduled in my calendar. Let's say between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. I'm there to publish a piece of content on Facebook. So then I log on to Facebook, I set my countdown timer to 25 minutes, and then I start writing, and I just produce a piece of content. Then I might take a five minute break, and then I finish up that piece of content, and maybe it takes me one hour. I hit publish, and then I get off the platform, right? That's how, uh, how many boundaries I have regarding my content. So scheduling things, it's a game changer. You need to put stuff on your calendar 
It creates boundaries, it creates containment, it gives you a clear plan and a clear time frame for when to be on social media, what to do within that time frame, and outside of that window, you shouldn't be on social media, okay? So schedule everything, that's tip number two, and use time blocks to effectively create boundaries and containment for your social media usage. Tip number three is use technology to counteract technology, right? For every piece of technology that's addictive or that's easy to spiral out of control, there's another piece of technology that's designed to essentially counteract that effect. So to give you an example, one of my favorite tools that I use on my laptop is called Newsfeed Eradicator. And the Newsfeed Eradicator is a Chrome plugin or extension that will completely hide your newsfeed on your computer, on your desktop, whatever, or laptop. And instead of the newsfeed, you see an inspirational quote from, you know, some big thinker. So, you know, at the, the, the place where usually you have all these distracting posts by friends and other people, family, there's just a nice quote with um, some tips, some nice information, so there's no temptation and I can't really get sucked in and pulled in, right? I can still use Facebook Messenger, I can still access my profile, I can still publish posts, but I can't actually see what other people are posting. And this is a huge game changer because it removes that addictive element of, or one of the most addictive elements, which is scrolling, mindless scrolling, right? So that's tip number one. Then something else that I use on my MacBook is a tool called Self Control 2. That's the name of the app. I think you can find it in the App Store. I believe it's free. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's free. Um, you can maybe also download it uh, from the internet. Essentially what it does is it's a tool, it's a little application that allows you to block specific websites for a specific amount of time. So let's say I'm done with the day and I want to watch a movie or I want to kick back and relax and not be distracted by social media. What I do then is I use self-control, I set it to six hours, I block all social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Google, anything that could be a distraction for me. And then I can use something like Netflix or watch a movie without constantly checking social media, without constantly being distracted. And I have this nice, clean four to six hour window in the evening where I'm not using social media. For my phone, for my mobile phone, what I do is, you know, I just put my phone in flight mode as often as I can throughout the day. I put it to the side and I try to not uh, check it, right? So that's how I deal with social media, um, how I use it responsibly. I use tools to contract the negative effects of social media and I recommend you do the same. And you really have to learn to use social media in a responsible way because otherwise you're leaving money on the table. You're leaving massive amounts of money on the table and cutting something out, being black or white about it, being radical and extreme is not the solution. You can't be all or nothing with social media. You need to get rid of the negative effects of social media and use the positive sides of social media in your favor to market your business, to market yourself as an expert and attract clients, talk to prospects and use it to make money, literally. My Facebook profile is a money-making machine but only because I've learned to set clear boundaries and to manage myself effectively using these three tips. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done it yet, if you're new to this channel. And if you're an expert who wants to start his or her own expert business and grow it to $10,000 per month, then head over to launchwithtill.com and I would like to invite you to a free one-on-one -on -one strategy session. If you're already at that level and you're making $10,000 or more per month as an expert, then you can also go ahead and schedule a call and we can talk about scaling your expert business to the next level to high six figures together and you're going to get a ton of value from that call. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.
keep social media clean, use these three tips to manage yourself and you'll be doing just fine.